Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to talk about how you can upload your PDF file to WordPress. So it's a very simple method and there is nothing like a plugin to do that. So we are going to upload our file over here on WordPress. As you can see, we are at WordPress.com. So once you are here, you can just go over at the left menu and you can see we have media and uh, under media you can see we have library and add new so let's just click on library and you will see all those pictures which has been added on your website already so you will find all your pictures over here so right now it's loading up and once it's loaded up you can see all the pictures are over here so you can find multiple photos which you have been used on your website already so after that what you need to do you need to go over here click on add new once you click on it you can see we have one more option over here which is called drop files to upload or select files and it will only consist maximum load file size which will be 100 mb so just remember that all right after that just click on select files and find your file obviously so i'm just gonna find my file real quick and this is my file I'm going to click on it and it will end up over here as you can see bottom left corner on the screen you can see my first picture is my pdf once you click on it you will end up over here and this is my pdf document and on the left side we have our titles caption description if you want to add those you can add those very easily from over here and the last option is file url so this is a particular file url which you can choose anywhere on your website so just remember that this is the file uh this pdf file link especially for this pdf so once you click on it and if you uh, search this on different tab i'm just going to do that for you guys you will see that it will end up opening this pdf file so we know that this link will work so after that once you copy this you can see this is end up in our media and we can use this pdf to anywhere on our website so how we can do that i'm just going to show you right now so this is the first step which we have done right now so after copying your pdf link you need to go at your pages area obviously and uh, right now you can see i have so many pages over here but you need to choose your page obviously wherever you are going to uh you know you want that pdf to be so for me i have already created my like new page for this tutorial and you can see over here this is my page and there are two options over here which is open now and once you click on it it will open up a new tab or uh, like on the same window window if you want and it will open our pdf but if you want to download you will use this link and how you can do that so this is what i'm going to do this is these are the two options which i'm going to explain you right now so this is the page right and if i click on this it won't work right now why because i haven't added that yet so i'm just going to do it and i'm just going to find that page so here it is you can see open and download i'm just going to click on edit and it will take me to the edit page options and from there i will put those like that link of pdf to my call to action button and to my link but first of all we will talk about our call to action button because it's very easy and after that i will try to explain my yeah you know how to download this pdf file so once it's open i will show you how so you can see over here this is our call to action button over here and if we click on it you can see we have so many options over here so it's very easy to add that link from over here you can see this chain icon and if you click on uh, like hover it you can see we have we can see that this is the link option and you can also click uh, control k if you want so i'm just going to click on it and you can see we can just simply paste that link once we paste that link just remember that enter or just click on this arrow to submit this link otherwise it won't work right so just i'm just going to submit this link on this call to action button and it has been submitted so if someone comes to your website and click on this button it will open up that pdf file but if you want to open that pdf file to another tab you just need to toggle this it's very easy 
So I'm just going to toggle this from over here just for this tutorial to show you how it's done. So I'm just going to update it from the top right corner. Just remember to do that. And uh, it has been updated as you can see. So I'm just going to go back to my page. Obviously, it's not working right now. As you can see, if I refresh this and after that, I will click on my call to action button and it will open my new tab where I can see my PDF file. So it has been refreshed and I'm just going to click on it. And as you can see, we are at that PDF file. So it's very easy, right? So now we will talk about how you can download that. Obviously, you can just do the same thing. Click on that, uh, you know, that text. Click on this over here and just paste that. Simple as that. You want that to open that from like this text. You can do that also from over here. Submit it and it's very easy and a bit. But how you can download that link. So it's uh, it's not that typical method, but it's not that you know uh, to understand too easy so just from now on you need to focus on it so once you paste your link over here again you can see we have linked this text click on these three icons these three buttons and before going to html edit as it html you need to go over here on this link and click on this edit button once you click on it you can see we have whole link over here but we need to delete some of it what so you just need to click or oh, from the start and right over where you can see hyphen WP content right over here you just need to stop and delete every single thing once it's done uh, obviously just click on submit and that's it after that go over these options menu and click on over here go to edit as HTML so we will see over here all that you know uh, coding behind that link so right now you can see this is the content and uh, what we are going to do we are going to add something at the end over here so you can see i'm just gonna uh, give some space and i'm just gonna write download right is equal to sorry uh, inverted commas and from here we are going to add please like and subscribe file name I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to paste that over here and I'm just going to close this and that's it. After that, go over here, edit visually and click on update. That's it. This is very simple way to do that. So I'm just going to go over here to my website again and I'm just going to refresh it. Obviously, once it's refreshed, I'm just going to click on use this link to download. Once I click on it, it will download it. So you can see on the top right corner it has been downloaded and i can obviously open that file very easily so this is very easy way to edit and add those pdf file to your website and uh, you just need to click over here and start editing over here just paste that over uh, this link icon and just write down download is equal to inverted commas file name and inverted commas close simple is that so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand every single thing and uh, please leave a like and subscribe thank you for watching this video bye bye take care